head out to the Bronx for the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. Our very own Justin Shackle is standing by. And Justin, let's not waste any time. Let's get to that injury report brought to you by Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. We just heard from Aaron Judge. So what else do you have on number 99 and when he might be back? Well, Meredith, as a Fordham alum, I can confidently say that's the best baseball recruit that the Fordham Rams have had in quite a while. But on a serious note with Judge, he talked further this afternoon with reporters in the Yankees clubhouse. He said he felt good after running the bases in Anaheim earlier this week. He also indicated once he does return, it will not be pain-free. And he told me that pain shows up when he has to use his agility, whether it's the side-to-side -side movements when out there running the bases, maybe sprinting forward. One area that does give him pain is when he runs backward but today judge did pretty much everything he took BP with the team he shacked some balls in right field he also ran the bases as well judge says the next step for him will be hitting live pitching this week and that's going to be coming up against Jonathan Loisica another rehabbing player Loisica is making his way back from elbow surgery so that'll be a big test there a big hurdle to clear for judge Aaron Boone says that the Yankees could perhaps have a timeline set in place once judge clears that line Live pitching stage at the end of the weekend. But the Yankees did make a roster move this afternoon and they were dealt a blow. They placed catcher Jose Trevino on the injured list. He has a tear in his right wrist and Trevino is going to undergo surgery to repair the TFCC ligament in that wrist. Trevino says it'll probably knock him out for the rest of the season, though he is confident he'll be 100% for spring training next year. But this was an injury, Meredith, that was built around pain tolerance. It's an injury that happened in spring training for Trevino. He was told he could pay through the plane. It was just a matter of how much he could tolerate. He thought he could get through the full season by tolerating that pain. That wasn't the case. He said it got to a point where he just felt like he wasn't bringing anything to the table for his team. And Aaron Boone was maybe more candid, more forward with Trevino's status. He said that the injury had a direct impact on his performance at the plate. Trevino also made a quote about just having to be sidelined here for his team the rest of the season talking about being out of the lineup. He said, quote, it's very frustrating. I want to be out there. I want to play. I love to play. I love to catch. I love to wear the pinstripes. And he went further in saying there is nothing more that I want to do than go out there and play. But at this point, I am not helping anybody. So the Yankees forced to make a move here. Trevino remains sidelined. Ben Wartfed is up from AAA. It's his second stint with the team this season. Boone said that the split catching duties will be similar to those that we saw with Kyle Higashioka and Jose Trevino. So roughly a 50-50 split moving forward with Higashioka and Ben Wartfit now. Higashioka is in the lineup tonight. He is batting ninth. He'll be doing the catching for right. Alexander Clark Schmidt.